What is most striking is Jesus saying not seven times but seventy times seven you must forgive your brother who has done something wrong. Why is he saying this? Can you and I forgive anyone? I guarantee you will say I can't forget. I may forgive. You have not forgiven. You must also forget. How can that be possible? Not possible. By ourselves. Only with the Lord it is possible. So, first and foremost, who are you? Who are we? We are not having an independent life and living. We are living in Jesus. And so if you are not able to see yourself in Jesus, then you are not going to be able to forgive as he forgave us. We need to be aware that we are cells in his body. So when someone does something bad to me, he's not just doing it to me, he's doing it to the Lord himself. So who is forgiving then? It is the Lord who forgives us. God himself in us is forgiving the other. And when you have this attitude, you understand the heart of God. He is able to forgive 70 times 7. He is always forgiving us. But what does he tell us? Now, once you have understood what is creating and making you sin, don't do it that way. What he told that woman? Sin no more. So he tells us, don't do the same mistakes again. But why are we going to do the same mistakes again? Because internally we are formatted by the evil one. And the evil one keeps us in bondage. This is why, my dear sisters and brothers, we must surrender our thoughts, our feelings and our habits to the Lord. I've been saying this constantly because I'm convinced that these thoughts, when you give it to Jesus in his name and get it out of you, he will cleanse you from it with his precious blood. He will put into you his own spirit and he will make you truly conform to him who dwells in us and we who dwell in him. That is why it is possible and if you can understand 70 times 7, the Lord will forgive through us. So what have we to do? We have not to remain self-centered but Jesus-centered. And if we do that, then we will also like we saw Joshua telling the priest to take the covenant. We, yesterday we also saw how Tarsus was taking <coughs> Jesus in himself. He took him in his hands, did not part. But I said, we take Jesus in us and we must also take him wherever we go so that in our thoughts, in our words, in our deeds, Jesus is experienced. Only he can do that for us. So let us join our hands together, keep our back straight, close our eyes and remain present to him who is always present to us. At every breath, Jesus enters us, body, mind and spirit and strengthens his presence within us. He is always there within us. But this way, we have an opportunity to live not in heaven as we will do later, but on earth to have these ways by which we can constantly remain present to him. And when we make that little effort to be present, that is the sign of our love. For when we love, we are always present to the things that we love. And Jesus is truly the love of our life. <clears throat>